when you are doing good and you are attacked, you are persecuted, you are insulted, people make fun of you, what are you going to do? Daily Gospel Reflection with uh, Father Jack Friends, brothers and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. Isang maganda at mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear kababayans. Today is the first day of April 2022 and today is also first Friday of the month. For today's reflection, allow me to dwell my ideas, my thoughts on our first reading for today from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 2, verses 1a, verses 12 to 22. Our first reading for today, it speaks about the attack of the wicked upon the righteous. You know, it speaks about the persecution of the good done by evil people. And our passage for today, it tells us the nature of evil. It tells us that number one, evil, they are annoyed of the good. Annoyed means when you do good, they were allergic to you. Kumbaga, galit na galit at ayaw na mga masasama na gumawa ka ng mabuti. Pangalawa, the passage also tells us that a righteous people are nothing but a noisance, I do not know if I pronounce it well, to evil people. It means if you do what is right, you are a burden, you are a hassle, you are a headache, you are a difficulty for them. And third, today's first reading, it, it also tells us that evil people, the wicked people, they make the life of good people miserable. If you are good, they will mistreat you. If you are good, they will persecute you. They will make fun of you and they will insult you and they will torture you. And that's also the experience of Jesus in today's gospel. Magandang itanong sa araw na ito. Nakaranas na ba kayo ng ganito sa buhay nyo? Hindi ko alam kung yung iba sa inyo na naranasan nyo yung mga ganitong eksena sa buhay. Yung gumawa ka na mabuti Pero ikaw pa yung napasama. Meron ba kayong karanasan na ganyan? Tumulong ka, pero ikaw pa yung pinahirapan sa bandang huli. Namuhay ka sa kabutihan, pero ikaw yung pinagbibintangan ng lahat ng kasamaan. Sinira ang buhay mo sa mga kwentong walang kwenta, pinag-usapan ka, niliyurakan yung pagkatao mo, at hindi ka naman masama, pero ginawa kang masama. And that's precisely the Book of Wisdom is trying to tell us today. At kapag ganito yung mga karanasan mo, ano ang dapat mong gawin? When you are doing good and you are attacked, you are persecuted, you are insulted, people make fun of you, what are you going to do? Remember these three things. Number one, continue to do good. We need to fill the world with goodness. We need to fill the world with kindness. Kung ang mga masasama, they are annoyed and allergic to us because we do good, let them suffer with our goodness. And second, don't be discouraged. Kung ikaw yung gumawa ng mabuti, ngunit ikaw yung pinapahirapan, namuhay ka sa kabutihan, pero ikaw yung binaliktad yung, yung iyong katawan, never be discouraged. Because discouragement is the way of the devil to stop you from performing good. Never be discouraged. And third, 
continue to trust the Lord. Because as what our responsorial psalm is telling us today, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Friends, amidst of the persecution, amidst of the torture, amidst of the insult, amidst of mga kwentong walang kwenta, kahit na pinag-uusapan ka, ginagawa kang masama, niyuyurakan ka, do not be afraid. Trust the Lord. Have faith. Kasi kailanman, hindi magwawagi at hindi mananalo ang masama laban sa mabuti. The Lord will continue to be with you and the good will continue to be victorious until the end of age. Kasi ang ating Diyos ay hindi tanunan. Hindi kailanman matatalo ng demonyo 